We're just going for a little walk. I say a little walk because it's going to be a little walk, isn't it? Yeah. It was going to be a big walk, but it's a little one now. Maz is not feeling good. Neither of us have got any energy. Um, but I really wanted to see these caves. There's four of them. We're going to go to the first one and then just see how we feel, but uh, it might be the last one. At least we can say we've been to a cave in the area. Um, but there's like ancient symbols on these in these caves apparently, which I'd like to see. But after that I think we're just going to park up for the day and have a rest. It's just one of them days where we can't be bothered, to be honest with you. Got no energy. No energy. No, we can't be bothered. We've had Coca-Cola, even that hasn't helped. No. <laughs> we do keep coming across things like this. It's a memorial to these four, uh, three guys <clears throat> who died in a boating accident three, four years ago. I don't know the story, but it was obviously a big thing in the area to have their own thing erected there. There's something else over here as well, Mazzy. A man with a kilt on. And this memorial is to commemorate the 100th birthday of Sir James Shand, the world famous Scottish Museum who comes from this tiny, tiny village. Um, he was good though, wasn't he, in his day? I don't know. Oh, he was were, he were amazing, oh, absolutely he? amazing. Oh, okay. He played the accordion. Another one there. Another one? Another plaque. Oh, another plaque. A lot of plaques around here. That one's boring, really boring. It's <laughs> just telling you that some MPs came here and unveiled a rock to say, look what we've done. We've made a big barrier all the way along front. So what we're looking for are caves. You've got Jonathan's cave, and it's got like old symbols in there apparently. Dog or a horse, they don't even know what it is. That's how rubbish they are. You've got well cave, more symbols and things, weird stuff going on in there. Over here you've got court cave, which I think is the first one we're going in, or the one we're definitely going in. Looks like a big willy, don't know what that is. And then over here, there's a map of all the different caves. So we are there. The plan was to go to Court Cave, um, the castle, Macduff's castle, and Glassworks Cave, and Glass Cave down here, we're parked here in the middle, and then there's another one down here. But we're not going to get them all done, I'm pretty sure of that now. Uh, Jonathan's cave, there's a fish in there. Figure of, look at that, a man with a club in his hand, how cool is that? It's a snooker cue. It's not a snooker cue, that's a club is that, definitely a club. Have you found it? Oh, yeah. Is that the court cave? Look, well, can you see a man with a club? It's bricked up. It's all what, bricked up? Yeah. But what do you mean bricked up? Yes. They didn't have cake. They didn't have proper building bricks in them days. Ah, you can get to it from the other side, Mazzy. Can you? Yeah, I can see light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Let's go in the other side. The colours are amazing. I do love sandstone. I don't know, it's something about sandstone. Cliff edges just look fantastic. Looking forward to it. It's like, I don't know, it's like prehistoric, isn't it? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> don't know if the camera got that, but Pigeon just attacked us. Oh, no Cart cave, no entry, dangerous caves. Says up there. Right, let's go in. So I'm looking in the first bit of the first cave and I'm not seeing any carvings. That was right in there, that hole. That's weird. But, uh, and look, you've got all these little holes in here, look. I'm sure something lives in there. That's the only carving I've seen on here. Mm -hmm. I, Bob, Hanny. And Annie. Oh, and Anne. Bob and Anne. I, Bob, and Anne. <laughs> okay. I don't think that's from the year 750 by the Picts. Let's try another one. So we're going into the second cave now. 
I don't think either of these are the cave we're looking for. I think it's the next one. Oh, could that be Pictish though? Oh, yeah. That could be, couldn't it? Yeah, mate, I don't know. <laughs> it could be, that could be ancient thingy-me-bobs. You know, like, what do they call it? Cup and saucer or something. I'm not seeing much. I don't really know what I'm looking for. So it's a scheduled monument, is this? You've got to be very careful in here. You shouldn't really go in unless you know what you're doing. And it's definitely an offence to damage it in any way. That's fair enough. I can fully understand that. This is big and, you know, this is a proper cave. This is bigger than most houses. Fantastic. Well, you're not allowed in, I am. I'm looking for these carvings. I'm not leaving here without seeing the carving of the man with a club in his hand. It goes on and on. Yes, yeah, so I've just found these here. I'm not sure what they, but they look like. That purposely. looks old. Yeah, and maybe this one, look. I don't know. Maybe that one. And didn't we see one up at the top somewhere? Oh yeah, there, look. That definitely looks like something to me. Not sure. But you know what this one is, don't you, Mazzy? Yeah. This is what all the signs have been about wow. for all this time. Yeah. Take a close look. What is it? Yeah, um, you know the painting screen? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like You're looking at it wrong. Oh, okay. It's a number nine in a trophy. Ooh. Don't you think? Number nine yeah. in a trophy. Yeah, I see it now. That's what all those <laughs> premonitions have been about for the last yeah. 18 months. <laughs> have we found another one, Mazzy? Well, a bit like a fish, fishy kind of thing. A bit like a fish. Yeah, possibly. This is fancy. I don't know if it's modern or That looks old, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely old. Do you think? Yeah. The carvings, by the way, I don't know if I've already told you, they're from the Pictish time, about 750 AD apparently. And these caves, well, the, the signs in these caves were discovered in 1866. That looks like something as well. Yeah. But Whether is it it's old? modern, I don't know. That I would definitely say is old. And you've got something there as well, like an animal's head, maybe it looks with an like eye. A, like you a know, beak. a fly. No, like a fly that you get on the. It looks like whatever you want it to look like, <laughs> yeah. really, doesn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. yeah. Big nose. Or Could does that be. look like something else? I'm not sure. Don't know. Well, you could say that's an eye, that's an eye, and that's a smiley mouth. Yeah. So you've got to think about this properly, right? You're mm -hmm. a caveman, you're laying in bed. You're a caveman, but yeah. you're not because it's the year 750, but go on. Well, it's still a cave, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're a caveman, you're laying in bed, you're going to draw pictures while laying in bed, aren't you? So check these walls out, yeah. is what I think. I can't see a thing up here. Oh, wow. Luckily, my camera's keeping me going. How far does this go? Oh my gosh. It's going up, it's going up, it's going up. Oh, I wish I'd have brought my... I really wish I'd have brought a torch now. Oh, you won't get up here, love. Okay. It is really steep. I can't see. I just can't see. I'm not sure if I would if I were you. Let me just see if there is anything for you worth looking at. I don't want you coming up and hurting yourself for no reason. That looks like a paw print, but I might be wrong. God, it's still going. It's going right up. We're going almost vertical now. I can't get all the way. There's nothing to see up here, Mazzy. You just see a little lump on wall and it looks like a carving. <laughs> What's this? A lot of bricks gathered here. That looks like an old tool. 
No, it's just a piece of wood. Bit of a glass jar. Yeah, I'm recording. Because my torch doesn't work very well, but it does if I've got the camera recording. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else up here. Apart from charcoal there, someone's been having torch a little fire. On. Torch on, I beg your yeah, pardon. Yeah, I have to ask Siri to put your torch on. <laughs> Why don't you just turn it on? That's just lazy. No, because it doesn't Don't rely work. on a woman my to do everything for you. Work. My phone doesn't work. <laughs> Here's something what might surprise you, Mazzy. Yeah. It's Siri. You were just talking about? Yeah, Siri's iPhone, I know. What? What are you going to say? No, I'm going to say, Siri, yeah. the woman who plays the voice of Siri, yeah. is, she actually added me, I didn't add her, she yeah. added me on Twitter. Ooh! Can you believe that? <laughs> I've got a Twitter follower who is the voice of Siri. Did you ask your phone to do so? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Depeche board, where are you? We did notice if you stood back here, you can see them a bit better. Yeah, I'll point out what I think what's Okay. On. So, I think we've got a butterfly here, some tentacles and a thing there, yeah? I don't think it's a butterfly, but go on. Go back here. Yeah, I think we've both decided that's some kind of yeah. duck or bird. Dragonfly coming down there. Dragonfly. Um, some bits coming off there. I'm doubting it, but you never know. I don't know what this is, but this is clearly a couple of eyes and some maybe an octopus or something. I was just going to say that looks a bit squiddish. Yeah. With its eyes and its big body and like its tentacles coming down. And then I thought what I saw was like a dinosaur here. Where is it? Here, look. A dinosaur? Yeah, well, it doesn't look so much like one now. Mm. <laughs> you know what that looks like to me? It looks like a cave with a door and another door. Mm, not really. It looks more like a, a motorhome pulling a car. It looks like Bob and Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it wheel there, wheel there, and a little car at back. Yeah. So we have another cave here, but it doesn't mention a name for this. Well, I don't think it's anything exciting. Well, it is. It's a cool cave. But I don't think it's got uh, any carvings in this one. It's still cool. Yeah. It's even got a path. Must be the kitchen though, because you know you use these holes for cupboards. It is very, very strange, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think these are for? You've got little holes, little square holes all along. Clearly man made. Built in and all up here, look. Maz is saying built-in wardrobe. I'm thinking, I don't, I'm thinking people put candles in them or something. What do you think? Candles. Well, it would be a lot of candles. <laughs> that is so weird. I want to know what this is for. If someone knows, please tell us in the comments. Have we got another tunnel up here? What's that? What's what? It's a muffle. But a bat or something? It's not a bat. <laughs> it is definitely a moth. It might be a tiny thing. Yeah, it's a moth. It almost seems to me that people have been coming in and just like digging. You know, trying to find things. I hope I'm wrong. Look at Mazzy in a little ancient kitchen. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to go in this one. No, nah, let's leave it. It's can... not got a name, which tells me there's not going to be anything in it apart from a bad back. <laughs> um, it's called Macduff's Castle. The Macduff family were the biggest family in medieval Scotland. Um, Edward the First, King of England, made friends with some dude who had this castle once, and they were friends, but then the dude joined forces with Robert the Bruce. So King Edward I says, right, destroy that castle. And he did. But yeah, King Edward I has been here, that's pretty cool. It's got a nice little staircase going up, but no, that's modern, they've put that in. That's a shame. 
You can see it's made out of sandstone, out of the same stone as what's in the caves. So we just walked up some big steps up there, went up to the castle, came down some steps down this side. Mazzy wanted to see some more caves, didn't you? Uh, we've got here, and what did you? What have you just said? We haven't got to the caves yet, by the way, guys. We're now uh, two miles away from the car, about. I'm just too weak and not very well. I want to go back. You want to go back? <laughs> yeah. So I've just run around the corner to have a quick look, see if I could see the next cave, and I could. It's here. And it's massive. This is a big one. I'm just going to have a quick look because I haven't told Mazzy that I'm staying. So I'll just have a look around the corner. Can you see any carvings anywhere? I'm not seeing any. Modern graffiti. That's about it. Uh... Some dots on the wall there, I don't know if they're anything. That's interesting. That's 17, I'm sure that says 1700 and something. Wow. Yeah, I'm not impressed. Come on then. Let's get you home. So just coming back to the signs, we've had enough of the caves now. We did see this, which was the cup, cup marks. Um, we definitely saw this, which I thought was something else, but it says it's uh, sometimes thought to represent life and eternity. And um, we saw like the squid, squidly uh, octopus. Yeah, we think we saw that. Yeah. Uh, but that's about it, really. Certainly yeah. didn't see this figure here. Maybe you guys did because we were filming all around the cave. But I didn't see it. I never saw any fish or goats or horses, mermaids, nothing. Guys, let us know down below if you saw anything cool that we didn't see. Yes. <sighs> and tell us which uh, minute and number it's, minute and second it's at so we can look back on it. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was something different. Enjoyed it. It's not every day you see Pictish carvings in uh, caves, but we're exhausted. We're just both yeah. feeling very weak today. I think we're getting a bit of burnout. We've just been doing this for so long now without a day off. Uh, I think it's getting to us, so it's early today, isn't it? Yeah. We're finishing early and we're just going to go relax and think about nothing but my tea. Cuddles. <laughs> Cuddles and tea, my tea.